Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Haken and today we're going to continue our jungle fever. Oh boy, we need to defend uh, the town that we have just liberated. Igor, still a little bit injured but we're looking okay. Hotbite, Barry, MD and Livewire are fine. <coughs> Some of them actually... Um, have now a morale improvement uh, that's why there is that little morale sign but we're fighting against a gunner which I think <coughs> was uh, a heavy machine gunner a raid leader grenadier and a marauder we could auto resolve but no 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 such thing I don't want to take any risk okay we have full intel And we have a deployment area here, and there, and there. Unlikely that enemies are coming from there. Oh, look at that. Good, so we got one AK, one heavy weapon, two pistols. Uh three four more AK so that's a lot of firepower and there's a nice little machine gun encampment here <laughs> so maybe we should put our soldiers in front here to work with the machine gun is there a high ground we get up to this high ground yes I think that would be plausible um, here presently in attendance livewire has a sniper as well so maybe livewire and Michael will both shoot from here or livewire shoots from over here and we do have a nice little uh, crossfire Hopwhite strikes me as Hello. the type of person that gets into uh, gets the MG going. Various movement to here, and Igor is going to there. I'm wondering how do we deal with Igor? Maybe here. How can I assist? Barry takes the shotgun. Igor has kind of medium range. Okay. Seems like good enough of a plan. Everybody hides. Good, we're laying down. Ready. Enemy has sight of me. I apologize. We're under attack. <laughs> oh boy, Hawkbite is going to town with them. Uh, well, okay. So that's four. Yeah, but we would destroy loot, right? Hmm. I have multiple targets in sight. Ready to shoot. Good. Let's get their gunner down. Oh, nice. I really think that was completely hot. That machine gun is <laughs> an absolute, an absolute uh, menace. I think I can, you know, get him. Good. 
Good, we could hit the torso, Grenadier. Oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. Nice little hit. I, I like it. That'll be two attacks. I think we're fine. <clears throat> I like the idea. Moves over here. Come here. And got a lot more overwatch. Shoot. Barry. We have only one shaped charge but this you could very much turn the entire thing around you know what why not oh. Oh, fuck. yes that was efficient I am pleased I am pleased as well now nah. Overwatch or now we're just going to take cover okay holy shit that machine gun is beyond beyond um, uh yeah well first of all field training got uh, a nice little achievement here md present defend the sector with our yes. uh, with the help of uh, militia secondly this is crazy what? the amount of, of damage that that machine gun is is producing machine gun single-handedly had um, solved Michael this here. very encounter yes let's see what we found we could always use more meds Okay, unload and then scrap. Yes, please. Ah, uh, Igor takes most of the damage. Might as well give him the full armor for now. I'm a bit disappointed. I was hoping we can get another machine gun. Let's move. Heading out. Wow. Lesson for sure. us, we'll machine guns are crazy. Right. We do it. Good thing you helped the boy with that movie projector of his. It will keep him. It was my pleasure, but you should know that I cannot be held responsible for the type of movie he might use it to watch. Au revoir. Yes. Hello there. Presently in attendance. Wow. I'm still absolutely baffled by how good that machine gun is. Emma. The president's daughter? She's alive? I am so glad I tried to leave the village to warn her about the Legion troops trying to capture her. He commands the Legion forces here on the island, but he's not really one of them. I mean, he's not like them. He's a good boy. Please, if you are here to fight the Legion, please try and spare my... Good, we'll try our best to spare him. You have... Okay, his son is the leader here, which is a bit of a problem. But we're playing a good playthrough, so I want to make sure that we're giving him a chance. Maybe he's really misguided. Who knows? Let's go. 
with certainty. Good. We still continue our healing, <clears throat> and once that is done, we will modify the militia training, or we will wait until the militia is finally trained. It's potentially a better way of saying it. I'm finished with my task. Good. I'm gonna take my 15 minute break now. So, repair items, uh, change. Here we would want a bit more help. And more weapons, equipment, more equipment. This task will not be a problem to me, and I will be honored to do it. Good. In the meantime, who's left for training? We got Igor and MD. So I think what we want is health. And Igor can train MD with some extra health. Good. The contract of one or more of your mercs is expiring soon. I know that. And we can go into the AIM database to get uh, more help. Yep, I know that as well. Good. We have a couple of other items that I think would benefit from simply being repaired. Mainly the weapons. weapons. Good. Repair is almost done. Militia training is very close to being done. Uh, which means um, our training here will just include a couple more students. So in one hour... No, we don't want another training. For now, we're fine. Um, yeah, we trained a few stats and the stat training seems like a good idea because you can always get that little bit of extra stat training. Unfortunately, we lost the sector. So what we are going to do is we're going to force move and regain the sector. Let me just double check if anyone left anything else here. Mary Unger. Heading out. Potentially not. All right, all right. Going. Go for yeah, if we've already been in a sector, I th it's my understanding that uh, items here will not respawn. Go it would be a little bit ridiculous elsewise, right? Because you could just go and farm herbs in areas like this. Go. Yes, go. Yes. We're moving. We're moving. Yeah, it looks like, go. with the exception of uh, this herb oh, uh, that we have never gathered, should be pretty much okay. We move with certainty. We will do. Okay. Well, there's nothing that we can find here. Out of curiosity. Uh, we do have a hundred mats. That's not a lot. Of course. Let's bepiece this area, and then we're going for. This is the place I was telling you about. The actual bastion. Gentlemen, talk or I start shooting. Come on, guys. Yes, I said. Good, we found Herman and a lot of thugs. Very Unger. I will try to become hard to see. No problem. Moving quietly. Moving. We can use this. Trying to be quiet. Okay. Let's. Place ourselves here. 
Already, this is one of the last missions that I've played in the last um, in the last attempt. So I already know that this here is not going to go well. They cannot hit what they cannot see. This is always the best way to do things. Honestly, I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Okay, hot but um moving. Try to become hard to see. I sneak up. Igor will soon sneak up and bury with his shotgun. I think I'll just use him um, for the grenades. I move in hiding. Try to become hard to see. Moving okay, these guys are having a lot of problems once we're engaging uh, the combat. So this is a massive minefield. You dance like a pregnant water out. Get those knees up. But I don't understand. I told you what you wanted to know. Yes, you ratted out your friend. Well done. Now I want you to dance in a minefield. If you survive, you get paid. Keep your money. Just let me go. Oh, sweet Jesus. I think I stepped on one. Oh, no, Herman. Let him go. Perhaps it is not my place to say, but I really think you are being very mean to that man. Who are you? No, don't tell me. I don't care. First we kill you, then this rat here. Intruders! Alarm! Alarm! Let's see. It's a bit of a hit. And more of a hit. There we go. The fog is making it difficult to I hit them. Think I cannot be fully blamed for that. But that goes both ways, because they won't be able to hit us as well. Help. Ready. There is still a device here that requires my attention. Nice. Well, we got our cell. First of all, disarm that. It's completely ridiculous. He would be flanked. I like the idea, so might as well take the shot. is exposed which makes it even worse for him he needs to move Good, at least the fog is working both ways. Wow, grenades would be really helpful now, wouldn't they? There you are. Perhaps we need a drink for courage. Shotgun shot, double barrel. Oh no, we're taking a shotgun shot here.
Um, reload. And... Moving slightly to the side, I suppose. The enemy has watched me very closely. I give no guarantee from this location. Okay, that does not work. I'm going to need help getting out of this. Target locked. Okay, this will trigger, but that's okay. Wow! It's so cool being on the winning side. The Lord smiles upon you, brother. The guy's wounded. Let's give him a knife. Nope, solid miss. Okay, that did not work out how I thought it would. Um, I think I can do this. Ready to um do stuff. Pretty good odds, I think. Oh, I'm such a loser. Well, the fog is definitely not the best environment for long range combat. Good, Igor begins to move up. Nice. Come on. Move up further. I'm surrounded. The enemy is cold. All right, Igor drinks. Hey, Michael here. Good chance of me um not missing. Killed a human being, which I kind of swore not to do. One shot, and then we're healing. Okay, never mind. Conflict is resolved. The enemy soldiers are dead. We have agreement. Oh, I want you to know that I sincerely believe you are my best friend. All right, Barry, we'll start to collect. I am in movement. Uh, we, at the end of the day, do have a minefield, so... Gotta need to be a bit careful here. I remember from the last time that there were, like, dozens of landmines. Spotted a thing that wants an investigate. I wonder how the whole engagement would have uh, gone without us having uh, fog here, because we had definitely the upper uh, the upper hand. You have the hands of a surgeon. Going still undetected. I will move silent. Let us see what the Lord in his wisdom has given Nice. Okay, for starters, we were definitely missing um, a couple of explosives. Shotgun is good. But the MP40 isn't bad either. Good. We'll yes. do the weapons in a second. No, 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 MD, please. Not into the minefield. Still undetected. 
Let's talk with Herman. He's uh, the husband I don't know of the old lady. Life, but I owe you my life. I hope... Now I got to go home. My wife Martha would be upset. I'll never hear the end of it. What is this all about? Damn, they came into the village, taking what they please. But then that idiot Tin has shot at them. They started beating people up and asking questions, so I, I, I told them who did it. I thought they would just slap him around. How could I know they'd shoot him? Then they brought me here, and I thought I was a goner. Uh oh, he was the one ratting out Tim Nay. Back to Martha, my wife. What about this plank? Let's keep this thing about Tinay between us, eh? Everyone in town get the wrong. He wants us to um, to keep it for ourselves, but we are playing an honest. We can't promise anything. We're playing an honest playthrough with good moral values. I know it's rare in the world of mercenaries, but I really want to play kind of a lawful good playthrough. Good, more mines. Perhaps I dismantle. Moving quietly. Great, we're getting a lot of parts here. Going. Still undetected. Caution. There is a trap here. I will move silently. It's almost for free. Um, he's so good at finding these things. Good, and I think we've got the entire area. Going. Still undetected. I'm only a little bit upset because um, Lifewire gained silently. so many wounds. Alright, wars, uh, that, everything, new. No, apparently there are still more mines. Going. Still undetected. I will move silently. I will try to become hard to see. Um, we're going, right? Take a look at this. Nice, good. So, we wanted to reload that and put it here. Unload, scrap, unload, scrap. Very nice, good. I do it. We move with certainty. Sure. Let's do a bit of an exploration here. I'm pretty sure we can find more. We have agreement. You got great at spotting things. Something over there. Oh, nice! Finally, more explosives. We were almost running out of it. And look at that. This here is to craft ammunition. That'll go a long way. Cool, got 10 more parts from the car. That is helpful. That's useful, right? Oh, look at that. A helmet, another MP40, more explosives. It's almost as if the game wants us It's almost as if the game wants us to get more explosives finally. Hello there. Important lesson. Do not play in minefield. Sure, we'll get there. Sure. 
Okay, maybe we shouldn't let Le Livewire lead, but rather Igor. We're moving. We're moving. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think we had a couple more mines here the last time. I swear there were mines here. We got DD Bombastic here. That is the potential affair that um, the wife was talking about. Good, DD. What the f are you doing here? Sort of uh, blew up the last batch, but I can make some more. Um, are you are okay? You Any dizziness ringing in the ears? Oh, don't worry about me. Explosions are common around here. I put a blast shield under the workbench and I've gotten really good at vaulting over it. Do you sell explosives? Yeah, but I... Good, we can give her 25 parts in order oh, to create explosives. I confess, I am Four grenades, sure. one flashbang, I and the red wire. That is good. Uh, that's what they call this, oh, honestly. Uh, oh, yeah, that's good. Stop helping the Legion, of but, course. But they are nice. They bring me parts to make boom toys. These parts? Very low quality. However, they don't allow me to go near their fort, which is full of wonderful stuff. If you can convince them to let me inside, I'll have enough parts to make boom toys. You bet. Pinky promise. Good. It's not so bad. Well... I uh, think she had nothing else. No. Ave. Moving quietly. Good. So, the wire is a permanent plus one on explosives, which of course we're going to use. And here we got a flashbang. Flashbangs are also great, cause suppression. Okay, and I think we got um, most of going, right? everything here. Uh, got heavily wounded, so I think we need to take care of that. But might be in our best interest to do it in the jungle here. Arrived at the location. Uh, before we do that, though, we need to. Um, start taking a look at our mercenaries. There you go. Contact. Let's offer. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What's the problem? I've already shown greatness. Oh, come on. Um, I don't know how that's Hello, you know I am truly happy My contract is of exp This gives me Good, we can't hire another mercenary yet and we're broke yet again, but we have 2000 more. However, uh, we should be okay for now. Let's treat wounds. That's 20. That's a lot of... A lot of treatment. we we'll only take um, uh, take six I'll hours. Right 
In the meantime, let's train. And I think Igor could learn a thing or two here. I'll get it done. Good, let's just heal before we're moving in. I have gratitude for medical assistance. Good, we're fine again. Which means everybody now can finally march to here. Got into Force that move. Let's finished. go, boys. I am ready. Let's go. Plenty of enemies. Good. So, what do we have here? AK wielding, pistol wielding. Pistol wielding. Heavy weapon, so this guy needs to be killed, definitely. Then we got an AK here. I think we had a sniper here, yep. So that is a problem. And three guys here. That sniper definitely is a problem. could come in from here but I think we want to do a split version so wait 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 um, ah, do we have two tired mercenaries that is unfortunate okay so a split version is we do have a machine gun here which means yes. hogbite is definitely starting over here Igor <coughs> starts over here as well. And I think the MD other present. three are starting over here. We can have a nice position with the machine gun and the snipers on this side. Question is, how do we deal with that sniper up there? Um, Michael here. Using Intel, I've managed to visualize the enemies on my PDA. I just hope they aren't doing something gross. They cannot hit what they cannot see. I will move silently. Ready to go unnoticed, yeah? Okay, I forgot that we need a cutting tool. Should have given that to we our friends. Ended. In which case, Barry needs to do the walk of shame. Quietly. Big fat minefield. I will move silently. I have located explosive device. Perhaps I dismantle. Okay, well, we're going to move slightly forward. Let's clear that whole pa uh, passage. That way we don't have problems later. I will move silently. Gosh, that's a lot of ma mines. Thankfully, Barry can apparently spot them with a 100% chance. Okay, might as well just get rid of all of them. Silently. Good, lots and lots and lots of mines here. And I must congratulate uh, the 
the programmers here, they really place them in a way that uh, will let you run into them. Ready. Okay. There's some loot in here. Oh, I remember that. Um... Let's put Hogby to here and Igor, by the way, gives this down to Barry. Fantastic. So. One, two, three, four. Hawkbite and Igor uh, continue to stay there. We're going back. Moving as of this moment. Finally, we can cut the wire here. I will move silently. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? Trying to be quiet. Trying to be quiet. I will try to remain hidden. Good. How about... Got it. This, I'll just in case. I, see. I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Going. Still undetected. Undetected. I have spotted a thing that wants an investigate. Let's disarm this. Device disarmed with precision. Uh, since no one is that close, I wonder does it make more sense to do anything else? <clears throat> Maybe use the Uzi. Good. Be it as it may, let's continue to move up uh, here. In order to get there, someone needs to someone needs to Ready. feel okay. that uh, that turret. I you, I am great at hiding. No problem. And I've just realized you can't really bypass that guy here. Good. Yes. Moving. Well, I haven't fully thought that through, apparently. Elsewise, it would have been much, much faster. So long setup for all of that. But I hope that it's well worth it. Okay. Sure. Going. Affirmative. Will do. Quiet. Hawkeye tries to stealth Moving. as well. There's an explosive barrel, which I think we can attack. Okay. And of course. Uh, that thing needs to be fixed first. Effing hell. They cannot hit what they cannot see. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Even more they preparation. This is 
is always the best way to do things. More explosives, fantastic. We now got 10 grenades. Lifewire might even put herself right up here after she had fixed it. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Ready. Good. We we're now operating it. Moving quietly. No problem. I will try to become hard to see. Good. Very silently. Kind of moves up to here. I like that. I'm not sure if this breaks concealment. Hide On the shoot. other end, uh, if I we take this, like this, that'll deal a lot of damage. So, can maybe two of you just get around here. Good, that's one. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Ah, just need the right moment. Don't be greedy. Ah, I want a second one. I wonder if you could just draw their attention to it somehow. Alright, now. Huh? Enemies! Ah, uh, not really. Well... Okay, here we go. The action has officially started. So how much damage does this here deal? 45? That might be a kill actually. Hmm. Almost dead. Okay, well, ready to shoot. I don't have a good shot. 
Now that is not good, but you have a perfect shot here. I'm just gonna say it. I really think that was completely hot. Ready to um do stuff. Okay, sucks, but undetected. I think we need to throw this. And remote detonate this one. Boom. <laughs> Good. Second C four. Almost killed him, and we're removing a lot of cover. Good. That's actually a decent first round. Oh, I am with it. That was pure luck. Next one down. Next one severely injured. Correction, also dead. Drag those foreigners back where they came from. Yes. Okay. Let's hit his arm. Got one. Um, hmm. I was hoping we might be able to open that uh, area. How can I assist? I will go presently. Moves to here. Throw C4. And there we go. Could throw more C4, but MD I think present. we're okay for now. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. They cannot hit what they cannot see. I much prefer combat like this. No, no. Can we hit this guy? He's not aware of us yet. I think we're still hidden. Uh, we're not hidden. Okay, never mind. Good. Igor is trying to ta um, take his attention. And... Temporary hit points and hunker down. Presently in attendance. Hello. Good, Barry. What are we going to do? I think we're just hunkering down. Almost got him.
Temporary hit points buffered up uh, that sniper shot nicely. Um, know where uh, someone can find ammo for a gun? Like a mine? Sons of Cossacks! We come here to defeat you and get glory for the Dolvich family! Igor, great hiding. You will see. Or you will not. <laughs> Ready to shoot. Strong, almost dead. Let's hit him. Miss. Okay, that's not good. Laying down. Live wire here. This is so exciting. No, we don't want an explosive barrel there. One more down. I got one! I got one! How can I assist? You can't hit that sniper. To, um, do stuff. We are hidden. So I think we're okay. Well, we should be okay. Take that and Explosive. let's remote detonate, shall we? The guy is severely wounded. With certainty. Moves to here. Fight well, but not well enough. He is still bleeding, still exposed. But Ready to shoot. Let's get the torso. It will take more than that. Kill me. He's almost dead, and we're going back to operating the machine gun. Good, he's bleeding. Move, move, move. Uh oh. I can't be! I... I surrender! Well, that was Pierre. Oh, how did you manage to sneak up on someone? Um, That torso looks good. And there we go. All enemies are defeated in this crest. Heading out. Cool! As always, the machine gun has just worked very, very well. You have order? Is there good alcohol in here? Nice! We got a FAMAS, I like that, and it even got a modification. FAMAS, however, does have... So FAMAS is, uh, has a very low damage, but has low attack costs. That's exactly what we want uh, for someone in... Um, in melee. That's a great weapon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're not done yet. That's good. And another... Another knife. We do it. There's some loot over there. Cool. Got a nice modified AK. Some improved trousers. Shipment of diamonds, which we cash in. That's 12,000 right there. I like that. So, let's see. This AK here. No, 
uh, only has the standard modifications but an AK is a nice mid-ranged weapon and we wanted to get another mercenary potentially to give those two weapons too yes so it's actually Let quite good that we found the them his wisdom has given us more grenades all right, all right. let's see what this we're doing with Pierre you have won. there is no shame in losing to honorable opponents my life is in your hands the major has him back in his camp don't even think about trying to rescue him. On the mainland, there is no other power but the Legion, and no god but the Major himself. The Lord's light shines everywhere, even into the dark and stinky hole where this Major hides. What will you do if we let you go? You have bested me, but my life belongs to the Legion. I will not lie to you. I will report to the Major, and he will probably order me to hunt you down and kill you. If you don't want that, you know what to do. Where do we find the Major? It is not a big secret, and you are honorable opponents. The Major would enjoy meeting you in battle. You will find this fort at the Eagle's Nest up in the Highlands. Okay. Well, we let him go. I mentioned that uh, beforehand. What? Mercy? To a beaten enemy? I, uh, I thank you, I guess. Perhaps we will meet again. But I can't promise not to fight you when the time comes. Well, maybe he's helping us the next time. Okay. Sure, we'll get there. He had a nice melee weapon on his back. At least Take in... This. At least in Hello. the illustration. So we have lost out on that. But Igor will uh, hopefully get bigger knives. Nice. Got another sniper here. And I like the option that we do have snipers for longer range. So who knows? Maybe we're taking that uh, that sniper. How can I assist? What? Ready. Maybe we're taking that um, sniper. I'm not 100% like sure about the weapons yet. I have found. I am in movement. Moving as of this moment. Very under. With certainty. All right. Okay. A lot of loot here. Quality stuff in here. One more AK. That's good. So who else? I mean, we have the new mercenary. We'll get the AK. Um, Barry is really a shotgun guy, and he should be treated as such. And I like that idea of his Uzi. That way, he has a mid-range weapon and a short-range weapon. That's good. Double barrel shotgun. Melee plus um, uh, plus a famous. I like the idea of the MP4s because they have nine millimeter standard ammunition, and we're currently swimming in nine millimeter standard ammunition. If you look at it, um, NATO standard, yeah, here nine millimeter standard. Really have a lot of it. We're moving? We're moving. Sure. I have spotted a thing that wants an investigate. With certainty. Okay. What else do we have? Come with me, everyone. 
Yes? Okay. Let's see what we found. We could always use more meds. Cool. What else do we have here? Uh, increases marksmanship. Well, I can tell you that's a good thing for Hogbite. Because Hogbite has the highest marksman. Just got and he can train the others. Which is good. We got armor here. Uh, not heavy, but medium armor. Okay, and I want a good uh, mix of all of the different ammunitions so that we're using them um, on the same rate. Bit concerned that we might run low on certain ammo if everybody has an AK equipped. Although it is a really good weapon. We will do. Did we go through that middle section here? I think yes. So the only thing that's left over is finding plants, medicine. Yes, go. Let's go. With certainty. We do it. Let's move. Good. Um, I think we've we've gotten everything, which brings me to a couple of uh, housekeeping items. Number one, we wanted another heavy weapons guy, and I really like uh, Grizzly here. So. Cornell here. What do you want? You got too many foreigners. Excellent. I've been looking for. Cool. So we got him, which is good. Uh, let's meet him in the village of Ernie. The second uh, thing that we want to do is leveling up. So let's look at Barry, okay? So Barry's main stats are Wisdom, which we have enough Wisdom. Uh, he has Dexterity, which is also good, and he does have Health, uh, which is also good. So. I'm thinking with him that we want um, maybe a uh, strength, um, a shotgun based build, um, but that's not completely easy to uh, to pull off. Shotguns don't have a lot of perks, um, is uh, the unfortunate truth, and explosives don't have a lot uh, of them as well. So there is something with uh, strengths where we basically could uh, let's let's review strengths. We haven't done that yet. So strengths really covers a couple of um, items: recoil management for automatic weapons, then there's br breach and clear, which is shotguns and explosives, and melee attacks against different targets um, deal extra damage. So for kind of killing sprees. Then on the silver tier. 30% uh, extra crit chance with melee weapons and firearms at point blank range. That's not bad for um, for shotguns in particular. Retain half of uh, free movement uh, rate when you have heavier armor, so that's not bad either. And this here is a fantastic option for melee characters because you don't want to trigger Overwatch. Then you do have 15% extra damage to enemies behind cover with heavy weapons and machine guns. Deal 30% to objects uh, with heavy weapons and machine guns. Not really what we want uh, him to do. Uh, then true strike with melee attacks and basically um, line breaker. Become inspired after kill at point blank range. It's okay, it's not bad. So, but this really more around um, automatic weapons. Now, uh, the other option that we could uh, do with him is um, essentially going uh, into the strength route where we do have 15 grit on successful melee attack uh, that is what Igor has uh, switching prone is a free action also 20% um, damage reduction when prone which is good uh, hit points this is what we're going to take but um, nonetheless um, there are other good uh, perks so 
there are a couple of other uh, things here uh, on the silver tier when you uh, get a, a significant amount of damage you get a wound each wound lowers the maximum hit points um, oh wait uh, deal 10 percent damage per wound uh, so that's kind of a berserker type of play revenge we already talked about that whenever you get shot you can um, and take damage you can take um, shots back this here is when you end your turn out of cover you gain um, grit Whenever uh, at the end of uh, your turn you can uh, transfer unused AP um, and you gain grit per all of the unused uh, AP and this is really good for holding uh, holding positions. So maybe what we're going to do is we're actually going to make him tough as a frontliner as well because there aren't a lot of great explosive perks. But that's also not a problem per se. I feel if we want to uh, have him in the thicket with a shotgun and with explosives, then uh, the right way of going about it is letting him be really, really tough. And maybe it is a blessing in disguise that there aren't so many um, uh, perks for shotguns that gives us more uh, more things that we want to invest elsewhere. So we're beefing ourselves up with 20% extra health. Uh, I talked about that. Uh, it is going to be our standard perk on everybody. And then maybe the next time when uh, when so maybe a build for him could look like something along the lines of get 15 grit when you end outside of cover, which is uh, isn't bad. Mm. The prone isn't bad either I don't like that particular uh, particularly and he's not a melee character so I mean what we could do is we could go hit points uh, extra grid when out of cover um, and interrupt attack when um, when we are when we're being shot um, that combined then uh, with uh, for instance calm under fire which gives us extra grid uh, because oftentimes I've I noticed he's not using up all of his actions that's pretty damn good um, hold position uh, and additional damage reduction that isn't bad either for him and shotgun overwatch gain 2 AP when uh, when hit by an enemy for the first time that's also not bad so this is combinable maybe shock assault so that we get that extra crit um, right there. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that is uh, that could be the build for him. Just really being tanky. Because the explosives are already doing a hell uh, of damage. There isn't any need to make that even uh, better. Now, uh, let's think about We do have two snipers with wisdom perks, okay? Then we got a frontliner with health and shotguns. Um, the build for Igor will be interesting. Let's shortly talk about Igor as well so that um, we can actually look at the perks. Here we go. So Igor has started with full body contact and for him um, I do have a melee focus build in mind. However, melee isn't necessarily only one um, skill of course strength is good but there are a couple of melee uh, perks that i want to highlight so let me show you a couple of them uh where do we have it uh let's start here uh that is indeed uh, a strength perk does not trigger interrupt attacks when making melee uh, attacks uh, that is important uh, there was one uh, for movement speed um, with melee attacks. Where did we have that? I think it was here. Gain a free movement after making a melee attack. That makes him more of a hog bite, so to speak. You attack and then you uh, kind of move back. It's potentially uh, one that I'm even going to take up before beefed up because it's actually not too bad. So, um, grit when successfully making melee attacks. Uh, move after making melee attacks then subsequent melee attacks against different targets are dealing extra damage then sudden strike uh, which allows us to really make 
um, more meaningful um, attacks and not be interrupted by uh, by anything else. Um, this here would not, of course be very nice. Melee attacks are crits and apply marked to the target and marked means uh, next attack will automatically crit. So we could do uh, Ironclad because he's most certainly having heavy armor. So one build for him could be um, Grit uh, and Health. Then we're going free move. Uh, we're going uh, extra killing uh, killing spree we're then going ironclad and sudden strike and then true strike so that would be let's talk that through that is he already started with that he's level two soon level three so two three four five six seven that's fine and you can certainly um, pair it with uh, 15 extra grit if you end your turn out of uh, combat or in his case because Igor often takes damage uh, deal 10% per wound well, that would uh, increase uh, the melee damage drastically so maybe he will uh, make Igor a berserker which is good because there is a lot of uh, slashing to do in melee uh, we could also go if we then uh, have enough um, points left over and yeah, potentially I would just go line breaker instead of more tanking because if we get inspired we can continue to kill so yeah Igor will Igor will go the strength route melee strength route whilst um, well uh, bec and, and he uses his Vosje Zodovnia as well as this uh, full body contact in order to get enough hit points so that must be enough the rest uh, is melee uh, whilst um, Barry um, will go into health so we have Barry on health Igor on strength we have two people on wisdom which means dexterity and agility are currently not taken quote unquote um, let's look at the agility tree shall we so we had hit and run we talked about this uh, we had more damage against flanked enemies which is great we had increased movement range which isn't bad uh, if you're wearing light armor and kind of want to play a melee berserker really uh, better accuracy when shooting from high ground uh, which definitely is helpful uh, if you want high ground then increased free movement range uh, from going from cover to cover Lightning reflexes, dodge the first uh, shot by falling prone. And then you do have become inspired when you make two crits in the same turn. That's really not working that well for snipers, uh, but it would be good for say an agility based pistol build because you would get a lot uh, back. Deals 50% more crit damage, that is great. Combined specifically with the flanker um, perk and then extra crit per aim. So that could be a sniper build and then attacks uh, deal 30 percent extra damage after a kill that definitely could be a very nice sniper build so uh, what we could do what we could do i think um uh, arterial shot is not bad at all what we could do with her is um yeah agility 75 i'm not sure do we get 90 I don't think she has the agility to pull uh, to pull that sniping thing off. So uh, she's much better with uh, with wisdom, but we could definitely without uh, that um, extra precision damage, we could uh, go into that uh, 80 uh, silver uh, silver tier. So what we could do with her. And she does have dexterity. What we could do with her is we could uh, make her a dexterity based character um, and build into into sniping. But I think wisdom will be stronger because the whole morale thing and uh, extra trick shots. I really like crowd control in this game. Uh, damage does not seem to be a, 
a real problem but enemies and letting them live seems to be a problem so i'll stay with that but what does this mean uh, for agility i mean you can play an agile character by basically moving from from uh, location to location and if she had higher agility a build for her could uh, look like um, going into flanker then high ground There are. Mm. Uh, then it's a wasted point. There is no. There's a lot of mobility. Maybe lightning reflexes. So, flanker into vantage point into lightning reflexes. And then we would look at extra damage and. Um, and attack steal 30% damage after a kill. So. Uh, plus that eye for extra um, crit per aim that looks good um, I could definitely see this if you somehow could get into sharpshooter as well uh, for extra aim that wouldn't be bad at all but I think a more realistic build for her would be um, leg shot uh, into dire warning for, for more uh, crowd control Inspiring with the morale, become inspired after suffer uh, after suffering a negative effect. Uh, that's extra extra AP, but I don't want negative effects in the first place. So, I think that into dire warning into inspiring strike, and then shock and awe for extra damage or trick shot. So that's five points here. Um, we could get extra crit. An extra damage against flank targets and we could still get vantage point i think that's a totally fair sniper build and we could get deeper into it uh, later so um maybe what we do with her is we actually and i forgot she needs beefed up as well we might actually want to get more damage um, against flank targets because that also triggers that inspiring strike a bit more so yeah, that, into that, into that, into this here is a good solid foundation, beef up, flanker, extra uh, crit chance per aim and vantage point. Good. Which now brings us finally to <clears throat> Eric Anderson. So we have uh, Barry who goes into health. We do have... Um, Igor who goes into strengths. We do have two snipers that go into wisdom and a bit dexterity and agility just to get the sniper perks. But what are we going to do with uh, Hogbite, who is kind of a jack of all trades thanks to his high uh, to his high uh, abilities. And what I wanted to do with him is kind of a retaliation uh, build with um, with uh, dexterity and uh, and health kind of a combined build here so what i was uh, thinking is we could uh, we could go for enabled crits with interrupt attacks so that requires to have interrupt attacks uh, to to uh, deal a lot of damage then get interrupt attacks whenever firearms miss so that already gives us uh, a couple of interrupt attacks on top of our overwatch okay then we go beefed up because we want the extra hit points and we're going revenge uh, which makes interrupt attacks uh, mm, uh, whenever you take significant uh, damage so that's already two sources of interrupt attacks um, then I think we want a fire routine because I would want to get inspired regularly. Um, I like that. So we already got opportunistic killer um, and that and that, which is one, two, three. What is the right option here? Make a bonus attack when making an interrupt attack. That's definitely where we would want to go. So this is what I'm pushing for. So it's going to be beef up into that and that and that and that. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four uh, perks. Fifth, uh, fifth perk here, sixth perk here. 
and really then the question is what else do we want uh, stealth skills not so much gain two possible um, aims on the first attack every round that's not uh, too bad I I like the general idea but since they will be kind of in the midfield another option could be to be ultra tanky specifically since he has um, and since he has a lot of um, health so I imagine him kind of lying in the grass um, maybe over, uh, overwatching uh, an area so he might take a hit or two I like the idea I like the idea of extra um, grit when you end out of uh, turn and then look at this here 43% damage reduction when overwatching so that perk and that perk together I think will make for a really nice combination um, I actually like that a lot and the, what, what I'm asking myself is, so th this will be, he will be kind of the Overwatch guy. Uh, what is uh, our newcomer uh, doing? We could, uh, the newcomer could go and uh, instead of Dexterity, do Strengths and Health combined. So what I'm thinking here is subsequent attacks uh, get an accuracy bonus, so it's not bad. Um, Yeah, I wanted collateral damage here. Deals 50% damage with heavy weapons. But this is really more point blank uh, kills. So maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe, maybe we're building a similar, uh, a similar kind of Overwatch. I want to see how that Overwatch uh, thing turns out. I want to see how it uh, turns out like the heavy weapons is also not bad um, but unfortunately strength's a bit of an oddity um, maybe you would just skill into recoil management I wanted to get really heavy weapons here extra damage behind cover with heavy weapons and machine guns yeah uh -uh. I think uh, for him it's going to be a very similar build I think uh, the uh, buffed up uh, increased damage here is is going to be good additional damage reduction when prone uh, and switching to prone as a free action is super good then revenge uh, and or vanguard uh, is great that extra vanguard is definitely good and I think the whole thing about those interrupt attacks are is is just good if we do have two uh, people that can do it, that'll go a long way. So, Eric, what are we going to do with you? I would say we're starting with beefed up, no question asked. And then we're going opportunistic killer into reactive fire next. And we're going to build his compadre very similarly to that. Um, the good part is, if you now look at the hit points, uh, Hogbite, for instance, has 102 hit points, which is just plain crazy if you think about it um, so that's not bad we're going to travel back and I think we're going to call it here it's been a long episode I uh, jammed a lot into it we're going to meet up equip everybody and uh, we're going to start the next episode when we're ready to leave uh, gotta make sure that we are soon going to take a mine I'm thinking about taking the mine up there, maybe. Um, or alternatively, we're going down here, which also could be an option. I'll think about it. Until then, guys, have a good one and enjoy your uh, time. Take care. Bye-bye.